Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jazz and I'm back with another video. Today's video will be on a Tory Burch unboxing. So if y'all want to see the item that I got, keep on watching. A All right, ladies and gents, so welcome back to my channel. Shout out to me with my 1,000 subscribers! Woo! And my channel is just continuing to grow and grow and grow. I'm claiming by the end of this year I become monetized. So I just got to get my um, watch hours up a little bit. And we're going to be in there. And y'all going to be seeing my little Google ads and all that stuff. So thank y'all so much um, for the continuous love and support. And for just watching me, clicking on my face every time I upload a video. For commenting. Um you know on the videos and you know just interacting with me and following me on my social media handles i appreciate that so um without further ado let's get right into this tory birch unboxing so y'all y'all probably already know what this is it's not a bag so if it's not a bag what do y'all think has been trending like with tory birch lately the dad sandals so um i've been seeing it on tiktok a lot and Mainly TikTok is where I've seen them. I've seen them on Instagram as well. But, um, yeah, they just had these cute dad sandals. So, they're called the Kira Sport Sandals. And they come in, like, different colors. They have, like, a pink. They have a tweed. They have a black and an ivory color. And now they have, like, a green um, tweed version as well. So, y'all, um, I remember seeing these shoes, like, when they first came on the website. I'm actually, like, trying to pull them up now. Um, and at first I was like, mm, I don't think I want them. Like, they cute. And I was like, plus I'm not trying to spend no money and stuff like that. Because I'm on, like, a retail fast. But I kind of, like, messed it up. But I was able to work overtime to compensate for these purchases. So, it's not like it's coming out of my budget or, like, you know, when I have money put aside for saving and then money put aside for X, Y, and Z, you know? So, it didn't come out of that. It was just literally me working overtime to treat myself. And I believe in treating yourself, especially if you work hard at what you do, you know? So, um, without further ado, I wanted to treat myself with a shoe. And y'all, so on, it's so funny because online, the shoe um was out of stock the one that i wanted especially in my size so i like that on tory birch they have like an option where you can i'm actually gonna go and like screen record this so y'all can see um what i'm talking about so it's an option to like find a store and then you put in like your size and then you put in like your zip code you just put in my city And then it says like text to shop. So it literally has phone numbers of like stores you can, you know, text to see if they have it in stock. And that's how I was able to get this purchase, y'all. Because the one that I wanted was, it says sold out online. Like don't even try it, you know. So I really appreciate that I had the opportunity to reach out to a sales rep at one of the stores that had my size in stock. And I was able to ultimately do an order with them. So they sent me the pictures of the shoe, um, what it looked like. And I was able, they just sent like a link towards your um, Tory Burch um, account. And you just finished checking out the item there. So that's how I was able to get this product. And I was still able to use my um, coupon code. So if you have like a gift card or if you have a promo code, I was able to use 15% off of my purchase. I was still able to put all that stuff in. And then, you, of course, my... Um, shipping address and stuff like that and it's so funny because this item literally shipped from the same city that i live in um so they actually had it at the mall that's like probably 20 minutes away from me but i just didn't feel like going to the mall that's a very busy mall and yeah so i literally ordered it on that friday and saturday it was delivered to me but i was out of town but i'm back in town and that's why we doing this whole fun unboxing together so let's go ahead and open it so we can see which one your girl ended up getting. Because there are a few colors, so I want y'all to guess and think which one that did I add in my collection. Was it the black? Was it the pink? Was it any of the tweeds? Or was it the white ivory color? Like, which one did your girl get? Let's see. 
one thing about um, Toy Brush, I love how they package their items. So this is my um, receipt right here. But look at how it's packaged. Oh. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and take this shoe box out. Put that box to the side. And here we are. Let me do a little thumbnail real quick. Oh, let me fix myself, y'all. Because I'm a lady. Alright, and let's get right into it. Who y'all, I'm so excited. And, well, let's get into it first. Alright, so this is it. And then it comes with a dust bag that I never be using. Time for my purses. I'll use it. But, y'all. Okay, what color y'all think I got? Can y'all see it from here? Nope, y'all can't. What's it? What color? Pause it and put it down below. I know y'all not going to do it, but let's get into it. <sighs> y'all, look at these. Oh my gosh. I got to like focus this camera so y'all can see the details. Y'all, look at... Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. Yeah, do y'all see the details? It's like the gold here. The tweed, the multicolored tweed. And the gold detail here. Y'all know I'm a gold hardware girl. And then it's the back. And the toy birch there. It's the bottom of the shoe. Y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> These are so cute. Yes, Tori. And it's so funny because right now, um, I told y'all I just got back in town. And I'm wearing my... um. LV Bomb Dia Mule. So I'm going to do like a try on so y'all can see my shots of the shoe. But oh my gosh, I love these shoes. Like the pink details in it. I like the nude cream color. It has like a chocolate brown in there. It has like some orange pieces, some green pieces. I just feel like the outfits with this are unlimited. You know why? Because I already have an outfit in my head. I could wear some jean shorts. And I have a cream colored like oversized top I can wear with that. That'll be cute where the shoes will be like the, you know, the focal point of the outfit. And then I could wear any color bag, a cream bag. I have a nude bag, my Telfar that I just got. Um, I have a pink bag if I want that to be the pop of color as well. You can wear all black. Like this shoe is just so freaking cute. And I'm glad that I got um this colorway because I did, like as I mentioned, they have multiple ones. And even when I was checking out, I saw that they had a green version. And I was like, the, the green is cute, especially with like an all denim outfit. I feel like that would be so freaking cute. But something about the neutrals that was on here. And I really like that it has the neutrals mixed with that pop of pink. Because your girl loves pink. Like, I'm a pink girl. So, here is another look at them. And they're so lightweight. Like, they don't even feel heavy or nothing like that. And I know a few of my mutuals have these shoes whether it's the white version or the black version and they all said like the shoes were so comfortable so I'm not even worried about comfort so right now what I'm gonna do is try them on so y'all can see how it looks and then that'll be the end of the video Also, another thing that I want to mention is I'm wearing the shoes right now and they are true to size. So my true shoe size is a 10 and a half, but I always get 11s because they don't have a lot of 10 and a halves. Like, let's be real. They jump from 9, 9 and a half, 10, 11, 12, 13, da, 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 da. My true shoe size is a 10 and a half. 
these are 10 and a half and they fit perfect like these are my shoe size right here so i would say that they definitely run true to size you do not need to size up and they are wide feet friendly for people like me all right thank you ladies and gents i hope y'all enjoyed this video of my kira sport unboxing um I did get the shoes, so at retail they cost um, $278, and then I was able to get the 15% off, so my total was $251.66. So if you guys are thinking about the shoes, I say go for it, splurge on yourself. I know a lot of people on TikTok compared the shoes to like the Chanel um, dad sandals, but this is like a fraction of the price. I don't know how much those go for because I don't keep up with um, Chanel items like that, but... I think they were saying you could probably get like three pairs of these for the price of those. So y'all do the math. And I do know that Steve Madden also has like dupes as well with more colors. But you know to each his own. But I do love these so much. So thank y'all for watching. Love y'all. Bye. Okay. Okay.